Oh, really fine performance, I think, tonight. I mean, I thought our guys played really well. Um, I mean, I, I thought the last 30 minutes of the game, we defended really well. Not early. Not early. We made a lot of mental mistakes defensively early, left shooters open. But uh, and as a result, they were 8 for 16 from 3 in the first half. Second half, they were 2 for 13. So we did a much better job crowding the shooters, getting out on the shooters. Um, I think we beat a fine team. Really good performance by our players. It's pretty good, isn't he? Uh, you know, it, it's, um, it's a really hard thing to, to play the role he's playing. You know, he's a good player, um, you know, to get sporadic minutes here or there. Uh, we thought he would play a key role tonight because we anticipated some zone from them, and uh, I think he was ready to go. But phenomenal shooting performance. Uh, and, and a great job by our players in finding him, you know, when he was open. Uh, we'll probably run him a little bit after practice tomorrow because he missed one three. You know, he's only six for seven. So he's got to get in the gym a little bit more. But he was, he was terrific tonight. You know, I guess after the, the first and the second one uh, goes in, you know, the, the confidence starts to build. And, uh, you know, I guess each one kind of builds on the, the previous. But, uh, you know, my teammates got a lot of confidence in me, and they, they did a great job of finding me uh, when I was open. Oh, yeah, it was real fun to watch. Uh, I mean, he's an amazing shooter and uh, one of the best I've ever seen. So it's fun to watch always just because uh, I know every time, it's basically like a layup. <laughs> when he shoots a three, so it's just the same percentages almost. You know, after after each make, I guess like you said, the confidence grows, and uh, and I think my teammates, you know, knew that as well. They were they were looking for me. Um, so yeah, just once they found me, I tried to make the shot. Sean and Jack Whitman both were terrific inside. I I looked at it quickly, but I think maybe they were 15 points combined and uh, 16 rebounds. Terrific night by the post. Uh, I thought both played very well. Sean's, I'm so proud of Sean. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's worked so hard in the co course of this three and a half years he's been here. He's turned into a great finisher, playing with a lot of confidence, really leading this team in so many ways right now. But he was fabulous tonight. You know, we, we really dominated the glass tonight, and, and it was big. It was big. Uh, you know, we, we're getting, we've gotten better as the season's progressed and not giving up the second shots. Um, they're not a great offensive rebounding team because when you shoot that many threes, you're kind of spread out, as we are a lot of times when we play. But uh, we really did a nice job on the boards tonight, too. We guarded him the way we were supposed to guard him. The first half, we didn't. We gave him, uh, you know, I think four uncontested, more or less, threes. And he's going to make every one of those. He's, he's a kind of Birchfield type shooter. Uh, we did a much better job in the second half crowding him, trying to make him put it on the floor and playing with high hands when he did catch the ball. So much better job doing it the right way. We stuck to our principles. I think in the first half we got away from that and uh, let him get a few easy ones. Uh, we went under a couple ball screens and stuff like that. But uh, second half we made those adjustments and uh, I think they had a little bit worse shooting half. They were a really good shooting team though. I thought Daniel Dixon was phenomenal tonight too. I mean, for a guy who really hasn't – but have it one practice in the last week. Uh, obviously, he makes a huge difference in our club when he's out there. He was fab. His scoring was impressive. His shooting, his driving the ball was impressive. But what really stands out with me was his ability to pass the ball tonight. He had six assists. Uh, our team had 27 assists on 36 made field goals. That's, that's beautiful to watch. I mean, that's a joy to watch as a coach. Uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday was the first time I was able to really move around because uh, it was pretty sore this whole week. Um, so after yesterday, I was pretty confident I'd be able to play today. It was good to see the ball go in. Uh, it's always good to see it. Um, and my teammates were finding me in the right spots, so it was always, it's always fun. I mean, you just really have to crowd them. You, uh, you need to try to make them put it on the floor. Also very important tonight was how well we guarded the ball. You know, if... if um, some of their early threes were on dribble penetration. Our defenders helped too far off the wings, and the pass to the wing gave up an open shot. So we got better as the game progressed in guarding the ball, which is allows us to stay on the shooters as well. Uh, we, we want them to have to take tough twos. Well, that's the story of our life right now. You know, uh, last week we are on the bus for four days, and uh, three of the next four on the road again. So uh, really tough part of the season for us. Uh, Obviously, going to Hofstra to play a great team, preseason favorite. I heard they're, they're winning at Northeastern tonight. I don't know the final, but, uh, you know, uh, that's what champions are made of. If you want to be a championship team, you've got to learn to win these as well. Uh, it actually didn't change as much as I thought because, I mean, our fans have been great all break. 
Uh, they've been coming out and supporting us, and then to have the students here was just an add-on. So, I mean, we had great support over the uh, break as well. So, yeah. You know, we haven't had a game at home in a long time with the students here, and uh, really impressive to see. I mean, I, I walked up before the game, and the student section was just packed. And uh, I think, you know, these, our players are building something pretty exciting right now. And, uh, you know, the students were great before Christmas. Actually, our crowds during the holidays were fabulous, you know, from the community and alumni. And uh, had a combination of both tonight. It was a lot of fun. Really exciting to, to feel the energy in Kaplan Arena.